it's finally time to do a taste test on this one it's a decent sized melon even though I would consider it a small type of melon and this one I grew on that large tomato cage and it slipped off the vine by itself so I'm pretty sure it's ripe first thing I'm going to do is cut into it this is a very sharp knife so I'm going to be careful with that Look at that. Oh, it looks very good. It's got a very thick wall. I like that a lot. I'm going to take a quick, quick whiff of this. It smells very good inside. I'm going to take a couple of bites of this and I'll let you know what I think. Mmm, that's very juicy. I like, I like that a lot. We've had uh, several ripe uh, cantaloupes recently that were pretty good, but I, I would rate this uh, above those. very it's I'd call it milder than a cantaloupe but it's very sweet it's got a very pleasant flavor um, and this isn't chilled at all I just brought it in from the garden and washed it off and set the camera up for this taste test Even, even getting very close to the rind is very good. If you like grow <coughs> excuse me, if you like growing melons, I'd call this one a good one to try. The fact that you can <coughs> excuse me again, the fact that you can grow it on a trellis makes it very attractive to me and I like it well enough that I think I'll go ahead and probably grow this one again next year and I'll be planning on where to put it uh, this winter. I have uh, some string trellises and I think this would probably be fine for one of them also or I could put it in one of my tomato cages. This year I grew a lot of pole beans so next year I probably won't grow as many of those and that will free up uh, some cages for some of the melons and other things. But if you've never tried this one, I would recommend it. It's a good one. Don't forget to like and share this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.